And uh, tomorrow should be even more as the money increases for the drivers who are going to check in. But right now, we're going to go green next time by. Once again, Har, Wilson, Kaziski, Jorgensen, Leal, Jorgensen, and Zentner. Who's going to be the top four that make it directly into the A main out of the heat race? Well, I was going to do live timing, but unfortunately, we don't have that right now. It's not working. So, green flag's going to come out. Har's going to lead him down the front stretch. As the green flag's up, we're underway. The 35 there leads off to the inside. So, I'm going to battle to the inside number for the two spot. He has the two spot with the 47 of AJ Jorgensen now running in the third spot. Or, yeah. Sorry about that. The 4M is Words. now in the third spot. The 35's looking, and he might be knocking on the back door there as we go three wide almost. And Zender punching his way. He's going for the outhouse, looking for the penthouse. He's battling for the third spot. Three wide down the back stretch right now between Wilson and the 47 of Jorgensen. Split the uprights. Wilson's on the way back, but Zentner's on his way to the penthouse. There were three or four cars originally then went down to three, battling for two spots to transfer in. And it was the lead battle. The 47 of Jorgensen, as well as looks like the 22 Z of Zetner. Those two were the ones that came out on top as uh, they are sitting third and fourth. We are three laps down, three laps to go. Battle for the lead going on. Tracy Har now knows that the 35 of Kale Kaziski is there. Kaziski went to the inside, unfortunately not able to slide up and break the momentum of Har. Har goes back side by side with Kaziski. Kaziski on the low side. Har on the high side, two laps to go. Har's gonna retain the lead. Now, in two more laps, can Kaziski end up going with another another shot at it? Yes, he does. To the inside, once again, it is. Kaziski and Har side by side, as is Zentner and Jorgensen. Your top four transfer spots, two, right, two wide, two rows deep, white flag is out. Har is trying to hold off Kales Kasiski as it has turned into a fatal four-way. Now settling out, just a battle right now for the lead. Kasiski to the inside of Har. White flag is out. Checkered is going to come out this time by Har. Drag race down the front stretch. Kale, Kale's going to go. Oh, no, it's Har. Har took it by just the slimmest of margins at the line. Har holding off Kasiski for the win. Zentner in third from the back row to third spot. And A.J. Jorgensen in the 47 going to round out the field. But when you say the slimmest of margins, literally three, maybe four inches was the whole distance between first and second. Well, and I'm going to assume you're right as I was uh, changing the battery in my uh, race receiver as it was, of course, goes dead at the most inopportune times. But, uh, yeah, it looks like Pollard is the one they're going to say uh, – Little too quick on the stick, so to speak. A little qu too quick to mash the pedal. A little too excited to go. Hey, it's racing. We're all too excited to go. Let's go. Let's get the racing in. Lights are out. We're going to try and go green this time by. Hold it back a little bit. Easy side by side. Into turn number three. We'll see how we go this time around. The RPMs are coming up a little bit closer this time by, but Pollard still jumps out on the early race lead. The 41 Jorgensen down to the inside of the 0 CFX Van Sorksum. It is going to be the 41 of Robbie Jorgensen with the lead as they're almost through. I'm sorry, Pollard with the lead as they're almost three wide behind him. That is going to be Jorgensen now sitting up in that second place spot. Meanwhile, it is Van Sorksum and Saltzman second and third. Fourth is going to go to Tilly, and rounding out the top five is going to be uh, the battle between Gary Webb and Don Beckstrom. Don Beckstrom picking up a win the, the week before the season championship here. Been a long time since he had been in victory lane, but he managed to get it done in his 80s as Gary Webb is now going to take over that sixth place spot right in front of him. But up front, it is all Eric Pollard, your leader. Saltzman to the inside of Van Serksum as they go into turn number three. Now he's going to take the position from Serksum. And Sir Van Serksum is going to try and look to the bottom side. But now he's got company contact down the front stretch. And no, he keeps it clean. The 56 of Jay Dutrilli got into the back of Van Serksum. But we stay clean and green as now it's Pollard, Jorgensen, Saltzman, and Tilly coming down the front stretch. Two to go this time by, and Tilly's going to try and chase down 
Saltzman for that third place spot. Pollard has checked out. He already has the car ready to go for the feature. He has such a sizable advantage. Remember, only top four are gonna make it in. It is Eric Pollard as the white flag comes out. Jorgensen, Saltzman, and Tilly, top four. Unfortunately, it is Zach Van Serksum on the outside looking in as he will have to go through AP feature. Checkered flag in the hands of Chief Starter Lane Pugh, and it's gonna be Eric Pollard, your winner. Robbie Jorgensen gonna take second. Third's gonna go to uh, Brandon Saltzman and Andrew Tilly is gonna round out your top four. They will punch their way into the A main directly from the heat race a little bit later out of heat race number one. I'm sorry, number two. Well, confusing or not, at least I know one thing. We are finally doubled up and the lights look like they might go out this time by. Uh, Lane Pugh's reaching for his radio. Lights are out. We're going to go green this time by. Lane Pugh getting ready. We're going to go green with Jamison Kofelt and Brian Barrett on the front row. Heat three of four for your Wings America IMCA late models. RPMs come up. And we're green. And it's going to be Kofelt with the early advantage as Brian Barrett's going to tuck into second. Third right now is going to be Jake the Ripper Neal with Randy Archer sitting there in that number four spot. The, 90, along. the 92, Jacob Brown rounding out the top five as, uh, yes, it looks like Randy Archer, he is going to go high, wide, and round the outside. He is going to take over third. Now he's going to take over second from Brian Barrett. He has that 18G hook, hooked and cooking as he is now going to look to the outside of Jamison Kohlfeldt. This is for the lead as they go down the back stretch into three and four. And Archer around, new leader Archer, as Randy Archer is gonna take the lead. Jameson Kofeld now back to second. Brian Barrett in third, and rounding out the top four right now is gonna be Jacob Brown in the 92. And we got a battle deeper in the pack with Jake Neal, stumped and bobbled up. He's out near the outhouse with uh, Todd Bell looking on it, knocking on the back door there. The field has kind of stretched out a little bit, halfway down, three down, three to go. We got leader of Randy Archer, Kofelt in second. Third looking still to be the 28T of Brian Barrett, but fourth is coming, trying to look at the, trying to make a battle for the third place spot. We got, as they come around here, he's knocking on the back door. You got company, Barrett, as the 92 of Jacob Brown. And now here comes, the, here comes Jake Neal. Sorry to interrupt, but that, uh, that little shot in the shorts gave Jake Neal all the incentive he needed to get up underneath the night. Three wide. Be three wide. They're three wide. As Kofel does not realize, oh, it was three wide for a moment. Now they're going to flatten back out. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. The 28 T of Barrett off the pace. I'm not sure what happened. It's going to be Randy Archer winning the second place. Second place is going to go to Jacob Brown. Jamison Kofeld in third and Jake Neal rounds out the top four. Wow, what just transpired those last two laps, Dugan? I don't know. All I know is cars went here, there, and everywhere, and what we thought was going to happen did not happen at all. And, yeah, I, I, I got nothing, BJ. It, it was a wild one. Either B features or intermission, I am not sure which. I see cars lined up, so it looks like modifieds are going to be up next. So, heat race number four in your IMCA late models going down the back stretch. We got, oops, I got the wrong thing open here. Dan Jackson leading us down into turn number three. Green flag ready to come out. The cars are picking up pace already, and yeah, I don't see it. Well, the green flag is going to come out. We're going to go racing as we go three wide down the front stretch, almost four wide. And we're gonna take off with the three of Dan Jackson. He is gonna be your leader as they come through one and two. Meanwhile, following him is gonna be Ryan Griffith sitting in that second place spot. Third, that is gonna be, I believe the 24X of Michael Micah Brown. And running out top four, is there gonna be three wide for it? That is gonna be the 6K of Elliott, Hop and Leal. Right now it's gonna be Hop as he is gonna take over that, third, that fourth and final transfer spot. That is gonna put Roger Elliott and Michael Leal on the outside looking in right now. Speaking of looking in, looking up at the lead, the 15 of Griffith is knocking on the door to the inside of Jackson. We got a side by side down the back stretch going down. Going down Jackson, you got company to the inside. Griffith's looking and he's gonna do it. There's still side by side, little bobble does not take the advantage. 
Jackson holding off Griffith, coming down halfway. Three down, three to go. And we got a battle shaping up for the fourth spot too. But once again, looking to the inside is Griffith, but bobbles and holds back as Dan Jackson once again holds off Griffith for the lead of this heat race. Dan Jackson living dangerously as uh, he, well, he's running, doing what he has to do, running his line. But Griffith right there, just trying to get to him at every turn. Now he's got a little bit of breathing room, does Dan Jackson. But I'll tell you who doesn't, that's going to be Micah Brown as the 80 of Allen Hop is going to go flying right by him for that third place spot. Now, can he get up there with one lap to go and possibly make it a battle for the second place spot with Griffith? Through one and two, it is still all Dan Jackson. Down the back stretch, smooth. As we got one car starting to go up in smoke, but as they come through three and four, it's gonna be all Dan Jackson, your winner, Ryan Griffith in second, Alan Hop third, and Micah Brown is gonna be the last one to make it in through, oh, and immediately, the 13, Michael Leal just sprayed for Skeeters all over the front stretch. Uh, I hate to say it, Dugan, I do not think that one was a radiator. Uh, yeah, I can't see the back stretch anymore. Um, I can't see past the gate under the flag stand, and uh, it's coming this way, so we'll be able to smell right away. What it we got? We've got fans that are actually following the cloud with their phones, taking video as it comes by. So, oh, ooh. that is totally a motor that expired. Oh, yeah, that smelled oh. hard. Oh, no, and right off the bat, the 33, Don Beckstrom getting pushed into the pit area. His race is going to be done before it even starts. Unfortunate for him. I was looking to see who it was. Looking through my race pass, I was looking, and Don Beckstrom, unfortunately, unable to compete tonight. Some Twenty laps of distance with twenty-six cars. We're going green this time by. It is once again Alan Hop and Eric Pollard on the front row. They're going to lead. Oh, well, I don't even know what that was. But we've got cars around in the back, and there's no way that starts going. I do believe that's going to get called back. Yep, there's the yellow lights. I was looking up at the flagman, and he just looked at his arms. Go, what was that? <laughs> you know it's bad when the flag man's even going, what, what, guys? I'll tell you, your pole sitter, Alan Hopp, was at least four rows back before they even got into, into turn number four, and then all heck just broke loose. And the 15X is pulling in. Oh, so Ryan Griffith done for the Knights. All right, lights are out. We're going to go green this time by. RPMs are going to come up as they go through three and four. And we're green with the late models. This time we're going to get a good start as they go through one and two. Alan Hopp is going to take the, the uh, preferred position over Eric Pollard. It is Hopp Pollard, the 21 T of Har in third. And side by side battle going on for fourth and fifth. That is going to be uh, the three of Dan Jackson. And looks like possibly. Seltzman in there. And yes, Seltzman. Seltzman inside of Har going to battle to the outside. Is Har going to try and hold him off? Or is that Seltzman? Zender's now going to look to the inside of that. He's been battling side by side with Kale Kaczynski through the turn, side by side as they go. Har, Seltzman, Zender to the inside of Seltzman now. As we had a little trouble in turns one, two, but we're going to stay clean and green. Here we go. Seltzman in. Zender now gets by Har and Seltzman. He takes the third place spot. As we get a chase down the three, as the three, as his transfer is now working. But now he's up on the second. We got a gaggle of cars for fifth on back. Zentner is making a charge. He's going to try and make his way up. He goes to the round to the outside. Red flag, red, red, red. 
Wire and safety are on the move. So I thought we were going red, we're still green. Wire, I don't know. We're still green. Not sure exactly what is going on as uh, lights came on on the rescue, uh, the ambulance and the fire truck. Now the lights are off, but they're heading back somewhere in the pits. Meanwhile, Alan Hopp is still walking away from the 7 P or P7 of Eric Pollard at this moment in time. Hop going to come down. Uh, it's not going to be but about maybe five or six more laps, and lap traffic will come into play. Pollard still second, Zentner third, Jackson in fourth. And then the battle is on between the 92 of Jacob Brown and the 56 T of Andrew Tilly for that fifth and final spot. Best battle on track currently is that battle for fifth. That's going to be almost a three car battle. It's now they're going to try and get up to Seltzman to make it a battle for fourth. Seltzman in your fourth position, Brown in fifth, Andrew Tilly sixth. They are coming up. Blue flag is out. Lap traffic is in play. All right, battle for your fourth position with the 92 and the 98. Catching up to the three once again. So battle for position there. Brown to the inside of Seltzman. Not quite there yet. Seltzman still able to hold him off, but Brown is on the charge. He is making his way. What does he have for him as there's a lap card in between them to make the make the challenge ever so much there as the top three have checked out on the field. Saltzman still trying to hold off a hard charge from the three of Jackson and the 92 of Brown as uh, looks like the 24. He is going to call Michael Brown. He is going to call no joy, pull a pit side. He'll be done. But up front, it is still all. Allen Hop led from the drop of the green, started on the pin, and very soon, lap traffic, he will be in. Lap traffic, he is in because he is just now passing the 4M, and the, that's gonna allow Pollard to start catching him as he has to work his way around the outside of the 4M. Oh, Jamison Kofeld, problems with the 36. He pulls it in and is done for the night. He pulls it in and he's done for the night, but now Pollard is catching up. Zentner's to the inside of Pollard. Zentner making the charge on second, doesn't hold his way back. He's gonna tuck back in for the third place spot. He has caught second though. Zentner making the charge on Pollard. Pollard goes low, trying to find his way towards Hop and trying to make it around, not knowing that he has company in a 22Z. Pollard now looking to the inside of Hop. Hop bobbled a little bit. Hop hopped it up at turn number one. Now he's going to turn number three. A little bit high line. There's back stretched out again. And Pollard's gonna look to the inside down the front stretch. Going to turn number one. BJ, five to go. Sorry, six to go. Zach Zentner trying to go to the whip, see if he can possibly move up another spot into that second place spot. But right now it is all Allen Hop. Hop currently leading as he is uh, going to come up on uh, the 13 JR of Colton Leal, pick off another spot. Pollard still, oh, Pollard got hung up there for a moment. Now he's going to have to try and go around the outside to get around the 13 junior of Leal. That's going to allow Zentner a chance to catch up to Pollard. But with only five laps to go, make that four laps to go, it is still all Allen Hop. He is now getting ready to come up on A.J. Jorgensen in the 47 and put him a lap down as he's going to slide it into three. Round the outside, high wide and round the outside. It's going to be Allen Hop clicking off, get another lead or another lap as he has three laps to go to win here in Harlan. Allen Hop with plenty of wide open track in front of him now as he has made his way past the lap traffic. Pollard still working his way around the traffic. We got two to go this time by. Zentner is catching, went a little, got in almost in a little bit of trouble there, but he's gonna try and catch Pollard for the second place spot as they're still working on some lap traffic. Two to go is still up and we're gonna come to the white flag this time by Allen Hop. Clear sailing in front of him. Not a chance, not a problem in the world so far. Has to survive one more lap. 
as Pollard is trying to hold off a hard charging Zender. Zender has one last chance to give it to Pollard to try to get the third place spot from him. But through turns three and four, the number 80 of Allen Hop is gonna look up and see the double checkers fly. Allen Hop, your feature winner in the Iron C.A. Late Models. Pollard in second, and it's gonna be Zentner. Jacob Brown, Brandon Salsman, Jake Neal, Andrew Tilly, Gary Webb, Randy Archer, and AJ Jorgensen will round out your top 10.